Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Fundu. Today in this video we will discuss about the bus bar design that is used for electrical connection. So these copper bus bar or aluminium bus bars are used for the wider applications and there are number of uh, calculation and design formulas by which we can do the bus bar design. Today we will see how it is designed and what are the factors considered for the designing. In this video we have covered topics uh, related to first one is the thumb rule for the bus bar size and there is a common thumb rule uh, which is uh, widely known for the bus bar size consideration. Then how to calculate bus bar area what are the sizes uh, and how it is to be selected then thermal calculation for the bus bar and the last one will be the validation of the temperature rise uh, that is uh, for the thermal validation friends if we talk about the thumb rule normally there is a general thumb rule that for aluminum bus bar it will carry 0.7 ampere per square mm of the bar that is 1 square mm cross section area and for copper 1.2 amperes per 1 square mm of the copper bar it will carry the current so let's say for 400 amps current capacity area required will be 400 uh, divided by 0.7 for aluminium that will be 571 square mm aluminium bus bar and for copper 400 divided by 1.2 333 333 square mm copper bus bar friends this area is uh, not the standard one so we have to take the next higher size uh, for selecting this cross section area available in the standard size that will be by let's say 20 mm by 5 mm or 20 mm by 10 mm 30 mm by 10 mm so there are various standard sizes available in the market and the next higher size we need to select now this is the general thumb rule but there are other design factors which are also considered for designing the bus bar and few of the factors are adequate minimum required clearance between the faces and the face to the earth then second is selection of adequate bus bar insulator standoffs this is the insulator standoffs used to support the bus bars and then bolting arrangement for continuous bus bar connections uh, that means whether it is m6 bolt or m8 bolt and number of bolts uh, two, two number of bolts or three number of bolts then fourth one is thermal effects on the bus bar and insulator standoffs under the normal and fault conditions. Then fifth is the electrodynamic forces applied to the bus bars and insulator standoffs under the fault under the fault conditions. Then avoidance of mechanical resonance under the normal operating and fault conditions. Friends, if you have not subscribed to Engineering Fundu, please subscribe to Engineering Fundu. We will keep on uploading few good investment meant uh, learning where you can see learn more ideas technical ideas so friends please subscribe to engineering fundu friends then let's say for temperature rise maximum permissible temperature rise for bolt connected devices including bus bar for material uh, dielectric medium uh, for uh, this bolted connection bare copper bus bar or bare aluminium alloy bus bar in air maximum permissible temperature is 90 degree and temperature rise above 40 degree ambient temperature is 50 degree similarly in sulfur uh, fx6 it is 115 and temperature rise above 40 degree ambient permissible is 75 in oil 100 that means above 40 degree ambient it is 60 degree and this is uh, considered from the source reference IC62271 part 1 
लेट से कोइफिशियंट फैक्टर के द टोटल के फैक्टर डिराइव फ्रॉम सिक्स के फैक्टर्स विच इज रजिस्टर्ड बिलो सो टोटल इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट टोटल के फैक्टर के इज इक्वल टू के वन इंटू के टू अप टू के सिक्स वेर के वन इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ द बस बार्स पर फेस एंड द स्पेस के टू इज करेस्पॉन्ड्स टू द सर्फेस फिनिश ऑफ द बस बार के थ्री इज द फंक्शन ऑफ माउंटिंग अरेंजमेंट के फोर इज द फंक्शन ऑफ इंस्टॉल लोकेशन के फाइव इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एनी आर्टिफिशियल वेंटिलेशन के सिक्स इज द फंक्शन ऑफ टाइप ऑफ करंट फ्रेंड्स देन देर विल बी अ बस बार क्लियरेंस एज पर आई एस फोर टू थ्री सेवन एंड बस बार क्लियरेंस इन साइड द स्विच बोर्ड इज फोर वोल्टेज फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन एम एम फेस टू फेस क्लियरेंस इन एम एम रिक्वायर्ड इज नाइनटीन एम एम फेस टू अर्थ क्लियरेंस रिक्वायर्ड इज सिक्सटीन एम एम फोर सिक्स हंड्रेड वोल्टेज फेस टू फेस क्लियरेंस रिक्वायर्ड इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम फेस टू अर्थ क्लियरेंस रिक्वायर्ड इज नाइनटीन एम एम सिमिलरली फॉर इलेवन थाउजेंड इट विल बी वन ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड सेवेंटी सेवन फ्रेंड्स देन बस बार साइज इज वर्स इज करंट ऑब्जर्व द सॉफ्ट सर्किट करंट रेटिंग फॉर द बस बार सो वन इज करंट रेटिंग जीरो टू फोर हंड्रेड एम इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव किलो एम्पियर फॉर वन सेकेंड सेकेंड इज करंट रेटिंग सिक्स हंड्रेड टू वन थाउजेंड एम फॉर फिफ्टी के ए फॉर वन सेकेंड सो दीज आर द शॉर्ट सर्किट करंट रेटिंग एंड रेंजेस एंड इट इज मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द बस बार टू स्टैंड दिस शॉर्ट सर्किट करंट आफ्टर वी लिस्टेड द करंट रेटिंग एलॉन्ग विथ इट्स फॉर करंट रेटिंग वी कैन लिस्ट दैम फर्दर एलॉन्ग विथ इट्स क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ वन स्क्वेर एम एम सो हियर फॉर मटीरियल एल्यूमिनियम वी कैन सी द फॉल्ट लेवल एंड फॉर थर्टी फाइव विस्टर्न टाइम फॉर वन सेकेंड इट विल बी अ फोर फोर्टी थ्री स्क्वेर एम एम फोर टू हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड इट विल बी वन नाइंटी एट स्क्वेर एम एम यू कैन सी फोर डिफरेंट विस्टर्न टाइम there are different ranges of cross section available from this table so this cross section you can select depend on depend on fault level current and withstand time so this is also one of the method by which you can select the bus bar cross section and by using the above formula and table we can also easily select the bus bar for our switch board let's say you required a if we go back here you can see let's say 89 mm square mm we need so here for 89 square mm we can select this 90 mm area this is 30 mm by 3 mm cross section size here you can see current carrying capacity in ampere for copper at 35 degree for ac number of bus bars and for dc also number of bus bar if we take one bar bus bar it will be 315 and then if we take two bus bar it will be 540 so this is the table from which we can select uh, our size also and these are the standard size 12 by 2 mm 15 by 2 mm 20 by 2 mm so 30 by 5 mm then if we want to calculate temperature rise so during the short circuit test the bus bar should be able to withstand the thermal as well as mechanical stresses when short circuiting takes place the temperature rise is directly proportional to the square of the rms value of the fault current the duration of short circuiting is very small one second till the breaker opens and clears the fault the heat dissipation through the convection and radiation during this short duration is negligible and all the heat is observed by the bus bar itself so the temperature rise due to the fault can be calculated by applying this formula here t is the temperature rise per second a is the conductor cross section area alpha is the temperature coefficient it is 0.00393 for copper 0.00386 for aluminium k is the constant 0.52 for copper 1.166 for aluminium and 
theta temperature of the conductor at the instant at which the temperature rise is being calculated and by using this formula we can calculate the temperature rise per second for the given bus bar now for typical calculation for bus bar area let's say rated current is 1000 m fault current is 50k for one second permissible temperature rise is 40 degree that is the requirement bus bar material is aluminium now d rating factor due to material is 1 d rating factor due to temperature rise is 0 0.86 and d rating factor due to enclosure is 0 0.75 these are the available condition and data requirement for calculating the bus bar in that case minimum cross section area required to withstand short circuit for one second will be is equal to ifc into under under root of t divided by 0 0.08 where ifc is the fault level current in kilo m and t is the one second time area a is calculated here you can see it will be 625 square mm considering all d rating factor now if we consider d rating factor for temperature rise in enclosure condition 625 d by 0.66 will come for 946 mm square mm so cross section area per phase we need to take 1000 square mm that is the next higher size rounded uh, figure standard size available so that will be 1000 square mm for neutral cross section area per phase will be 500 square mm so this is how it is calculated so there are number of ways by which you can calculate the bus bar sizes one is thumb rule then you can also apply a formula then you can calculate temperature rise also there are number of d rating factor is also available as per the standard and that also you can consider for calculating this size now if you want to validate whether this size is correct or not one way is to uh, validate the temperature rise so wherever you want to validate it on the bus bar you can select uh, two or three locations and then you can stick uh, this kind of temperature label strip this is standard strip available in the market then you can operate your system converter or switch box whatever it is there where you have fixed the bus bar and then you can operate for a given time and then after that you can note this temperature rise here you can see after this blank strip after certain duration it will record and convert the color inside this strip and uh, it will go up to the temperature that bus bar has attained so here let's say it has attained around uh, 99 degree centigrade so this is how you can record the temperature rise on the bus bar and then you can validate whether the temperature rises within the permissible limit or not or what you have calculated is correct or not so this is one of the way of validating uh, your bus bar size so this is short presentation for learning related to bus bar design friends there are number of factors uh, i have mentioned few of the standards also in our discussion so you can calculate uh, size for your application there there are few books also available for calculating the bus bar application friends i hope you will like this video thank you very much and happy learning